Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. I am so excited because today Ben is going for his follow-up appointment with the neurologist to see how he's coming along with his progression with his atlantoaxial luxation. If you guys have been watching my videos, he's been in some of my recent videos and you've probably been able to tell that he is doing amazing. I'm so impressed. He's been on the same treatment. He just wears a little neck brace and he's on three different medications, um, including a steroid to help with inflammation. And of course the doctor does blood work ever so often to make sure that he's handling all the meds just right. The doctor said at this appointment, we might hi hopefully have kind of an answer of what we can do. And I'm so excited to show the doctor how well he's doing and how much he's walking around. I actually had to put a harness on him He's wearing Margot's harness. <laughs> ben, you need a boy harness. It's amazing because for, what, six months I've been carrying him around. The neurologist told me to carry him like a football under my arm. And that's where Ben goes, under my arm, every day, whenever we go anywhere. So all of a sudden he doesn't want to be held. He wants down on the ground. He wants to walk around because he can. And of course, I'm so proud of you, Ben. He's a cute boy. What? And just the next week or so, watch him very closely. So today we're going to get his neck bandage off, give him a week, and a week from so next Monday or next Tuesday, give us a call. Okay. Let me know that Ben is doing well, and if you give me the thumbs up that he's doing well, I'll have you drop his prednisone from once a day to every other day. I feel really excited and super nervous and worried. We have gone through so much to get him to this point and I'm just so worried to make backwards progress, you know? Um, it has been a little bit of two steps forward, one step back, because early on we thought we were having progress and then he kind of made a decline all of a sudden. Um, and then so we just continued with the treatment and I was getting so worried because so much time had passed and I really was kind of losing hope. I met one lady here actually who had a dog with a similar injury and the same doctor treated her dog and was able to make a full recovery in only a period of like six weeks. For me with Ben taking so much longer, I thought, oh gosh, you know, I just was so worried it wasn't going to happen. And I really appreciate that the doctor didn't push surgery because a lot of doctors I think would have really pushed surgery and I was just so nervous about the surgery because he was so tiny and the doctor said that himself. He said, I, I don't know that I would want to do surgery on a dog this small. I appreciate the honesty that the doctor gave me and just the consistent treatment and he just kept with it and um, I, think, I think we've had success. I'm hoping. <laughs> You're so happy. You're so happy. Mommy's happy too. Oh, 
Good boy, mommy loves you. I'm so excited. 